I had the privilege of being mentored by a guy named Steve Drummond. Steve was the one who led me to Jesus. Steve was a scholar. He had advanced degrees in sociology and in theology, and he had written scores of books. He was a great preacher and knew the Bible inside and out. And Steve was a man of impeccable moral character. Yet this great man cared for me, and he always had time for me. And he always had the right teaching for me and always had the right counsel for me. Thinking about Steve this week made me think about Jesus because my relationship with Steve was based on our common love for Jesus. I was a disciple of Steve's. And that got me to thinking about discipleship and what it means to be Jesus' disciple. First of all, being Jesus' disciples means that you are willing to take on Jesus' name. As his disciple, we are a Christ follower, and our objective is to become more and more like Jesus. It is a student-teacher relationship. We follow Jesus, we learn from him, and pass on his teaching to others. Being a disciple of Jesus means being in Jesus' family, being loved by God, being loved by other believers, and being absolutely assured that we have an eternal inheritance in heaven. Being Jesus' disciple is being Jesus' friends, not as an equal, but as the idea of a master who loves, loves, loves his servant and discloses all about his business to that servant. Being Jesus' disciple means you allow Jesus to direct your life through his teachings, through his example, and through the leading of his spirit. So this week, I want you to consider what it means to be a disciple of Jesus and also ponder, are you allowing Jesus to have this kind of relationship with you? If not a Christian, please consider becoming a disciple of Jesus. Consider taking on Jesus' name. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Aloha. See you there. Life is better as a disciple of Jesus. God bless you.